Hey, good morning. This is Samesh. Uh, I just want to take a moment to thank uh, the people that have been supporting Jojo and myself with your beautiful messages uh, through this process. As you know, taking on any organization and trying to bring truth and justice um, is not an easy matter. And um, especially when it comes to um, people like the Medicine Festival Council who are very, very well respected and admired and trusted in the medicine music community. Um, you know, people trust them. They think the Medicine Festival is fantastic, which I do as well. And the Medicine Festival community is fantastic. And uh, I guess some people within the council have just made uh, errors in judgment. So I do thank you. It's, you know, it's been tough. There's been some real pushback and, you know, it, it brought up, it has brought up a lot of toxicity. And uh, so for when people do write supportive net messages to Jojo, um, mainly I do appreciate it. And I want to send you all my thanks. So I want to read out if, uh, a couple of these and it just gives you another perspective from somebody else's perspective, which is really, really, really nice. So this one's actually from Davina McCall. If you don't know Davina McCall, she's an elder within the community and she is very well respected. Uh, she says, you have been so courageous throughout your horrendous ordeal. This is speaking to Jojo. I've been witness to your process since the beginning, your continuing pain, surgeries, trauma, not just of the accident, original accident, but all of the continuing grafts, etc. The endless painkillers you've had to cr to crunch, the, the fear of being cut into, nerve damage, etc. The loss of earnings, the loss of the use of your hand for extended periods of time, the disfigurement of your body, the trauma of being ignored and dismissed by bigger players who have strung you along, played you for time, manipulating the truth until they can cross the finish line scot-free after the three-year deadline. A true David and Goliath story, yet throughout you have remained honest, authentic, unbelievably brave, and all I have heard, all I have ever heard you ask for is to be acknowledged and supported by the community through this in, um, where this incident occurred, for a fair compensation to be paid to support you. If it's what insurance is for, it was a terrible accident, no one is to blame, but that does not absolve the event organizers from taking full responsibility for supporting you every step of the way, including having adequate insurance for such tragic accidents. Incidents. It reflects appallingly on those involved who have chosen to bypass and ignore rather than love and support. I pray for justice and and in this situation. Just really, really nice message from Davina. Very balanced, very uh, impartial, and just saying it like it is, really. Um, another one. This is... Celebrating you for speaking out up about this, Jojo. I have no idea about these aspects of what happened to you and the lack of accountability or support from the festival. But seeing you in your expression on Lionsgate giving voice to this, I feel the immense power moving through you and it feels incredibly inspiring, beautiful and holy. Like you're so fully arrived within yourself and clear in your sacred rage and voice of truth. It feels as if you're also speaking to something much bigger on behalf of many. I've not been to Medicine Festival myself, but I've heard countless such tales of the cognitive dissonance that runs there and the ironic lack of reverence for the feminine reality human experience or isness. In favor of spiritual theater and sneaky patriarchal hierarchy division in a spiritual mask. I too sensed a huge separation energy from the whole thing which has prevented me ever wanting to attend. I hope your message is heard and you are far and wide and they are held accountable for where they are gaslighting you and your immense journey. This initiation is as much for them as anyone if they choose not to listen. It's an inc incredibly hypocritical thing. Totally agree. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So lots of other beautiful messages here. I've actually added it uh, to the page, um, the main page that I created, which I hope it's somewhere here. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Um, let 
let's see. Yeah, so I, actually on this this Truth and Reconciliation page, um, I've added all these messages of support, which is nice to read when, you know, you've been... <laughs> <laughs> when people have been beating you, beating you, um, so, you know, you know what really frustrates me is the people that make these random judgments and comments when they actually haven't read the information, or people that repeatedly ask the same question when further up in in the comment section, all these questions have been answered, or people that read all that and then they still make these wild judgments. Uh, you know, humanity is just, it is quite laughable. Just to say that, you know, if you hate me or you think I'm a bad guy because I've, I've, um, you know, outed or, or tried to bring some justice and truth to the situation, then I'm sorry, but it doesn't affect me. I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I know my truth. I know who I'm standing for. I know I'm standing for truth and justice. And um, you can attack me all you want. I just don't care. I'm really, I'm really, um, I'm really, you know, I'm standing my truth and I know, I know, you know, truth is behind me. So, uh, anyway, uh, I hope there comes some resolution to this situation. I know there is, I know there is. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for your support. That's, that's the point of this video. Thank you so much.